Hey guys, Big Swear. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the upcoming drop in the Dow. Uh, by now you know that all markets are rigged 100% with computers and derivatives that were invented by Greenspan in the 60s and 70s. If you've been on the road to Rito, at least you know that. Uh, and that includes the Dow, the Comex, the LBMA, uh, cryptocurrencies, stocks, bonds, gold, silver, all of it. 100% rigged and controlled, um, but we have a problem, and the problem was a designed problem, and it is uh, playing out right now, and that is with the Fed repo, the derivatives markets going sideways, and nobody trusts the collateral of U.S. bonds anymore within the banks because they know they've rehypothecated them, and it's a freaking mess. So <clears throat> the problem right now is that the Fed has a meeting on, let's see where it is, uh, the 29th and the 30th, so next week. In that meeting, they're going to have to probably talk about and then announce at some point that uh, they got to pump more money into the system. Uh, Elizabeth Warren ain't going to like it. Wait, not the 29th and 30th. It's the, I got to get to October. Yeah, 29th and 30th of October. Um, Warren, uh, Elizabeth Warren is not going to like it. Interesting that her, uh, letter, a response from Mnuchin is due the, on, um, November 1st, right after the Fed meeting. So this is the Fed's last chance to open up the coffers and say, you know, we have unlimited Q. They just, uh, put in a huge increase in the amount of QE. It's all QE, by the way. Um, and I keep track of that on the private road for you private road members. But the drop in the Dow is a good thing. You're going to see a much bigger drop leading into the Fed because they're going to have to drop rates also. They're going to drop rates and they're going to announce more bailouts at some point, probably a few days after the more bailouts. They did today. Today, bigger bailouts, bigger bailouts. They're going to have to do something bigger and permanent and it still won't be enough unless they have uh, two quadrillion. And that's where we're going on the road to Ruta. It is increasing. The overnights are increasing by $10 billion per week, the average. So it's gone to 60, 70, 80. Next week will be 90, 100, 110. And then you got the, the permanent. Is getting, they'll probably announce increase in the permanent uh, purchases of treasury, which is huge because that goes right on the cumulative total and uh, the way I figured this shit out. Anyway, um, so yes, the diving stock market is a good thing because it's either a diving stock market or a terrorist attack by the Fed meeting next week. So I would rather have a diving stock market than a terrorist attack. But either one would get allow the Fed to announce, yes, we're going to cut rates again, um, going towards negative. Negative would be impossible with the world's reserve currency. It's all impossible, um, and we are approaching in 2019 that D-Day, the decision day of we, the people, are going to decide whether or not to bail out the bank or not. Uh, I think it, the number will be $20 trillion. My friend Jeff Berwick and Ed Bugos have came up with 10 to $20 trillion. I think that number is going to be $20 trillion. They won't stop at 10 and this, I think, is happening extremely soon, like in a matter of between now and the end of the year. That's extremely soon. Get your cryptos, get them off the exchanges, get them in your own possession. They can put the price of Bitcoin to zero with a click of a mouse. It's that easy. Um, and I hope everybody knows that. Well, let's just take a look. How would they do something like that? Just increase the volume a little bit. How about 21 uh, million Bitcoins sold in one click of a mouse? Wait, they can't do that. They're, 21 million hasn't been mined yet. They're not selling Bitcoin. They're selling derivatives of Bitcoin. All these exchanges deal in derivatives, not the real thing. Not the real thing. And you can tell that by volumes. Look at the Ethereum volume. That's really jumped up. It's 50% of all Ethereum that's ever been mined. With a market cap of $17.7 .7 billion, we're traded in the last 24 hours. What does that tell you? Tether, the, the fraudulent cryptocurrency of all fraudulent cryptocurrencies, the deep state crypto cabal token has a market cap of $4 billion, 
24 hour volume, $26 billion. It's all a fantasy. It's all a con game. And Bitcoin Cash is really getting up there too, uh, 50%, just like Ethereum, 50% of all Bitcoin Cash traded in the last 24 hours. But then there's the mother, Litecoin. We're at 2.95, rounded up to $3 billion, was traded in 24 hours with a total market cap, $3.9 billion. Is that 80% of all, 75% of all Litecoin traded in the last 24 hours? That's fucking ridiculous. It's stupid. We deserve what we get from Chris Giancarlo and friends. I hate to say that, but it's probably true. Bitcoin been epic ramp about, rant about Chris Giancarlo exposing that, yes, the U.S. government, uh, Gary Cohen, Steve Mnuchin, Donald Trump, purposefully and meaningfully rigged the price of Bitcoin to pop the bubble in 2017, 2018. What they didn't tell you is they also got together with the Mt. Gox trustee to sell physical Bitcoin into the market at the worst time possible. Yes, completely coordinated effort. Chris Giancarlo, Gary Cohen, Steve Mnuchin, and yes, Donald Trump colluded together to rig the price of Bitcoin to destroy the value and wealth of people in the cryptocurrency space. If you lost any money since 2017, they did it to you on purpose. And they brag about it. There he is. Trump administration. Pop 2017 Bitcoin bubble. CFTC chairman says, quote, one of the untold stories. Now, why is it an untold story? Because it's completely criminal and immoral what they did. One of the untold stories of the past few years is that the CFTC, the Treasury, the SEC and the National, oh, the SEC was in there too. So they're trying to bust Reggie Middleton. First, they're, they're behind the scenes sabotaging every deal he does. And oh, by the way, they're destroying cryptocurrency prices as well. The head of the CFTC was involved in this. And they're trying to bust Reggie Middleton. Really? I hope Reggie and his lawyers get out on top and front run this one. Although I don't. I want them just to settle and move on. One of the untold stories of the past few years is that the CFT, the Treasury, the SEC, and the National Economic Council director at the time, Gary Cohen, believed that the launch of Bitcoin futures would have the impact of popping the Bitcoin bubble. And it worked. So they put it together. Quote, if you don't have that derivative, then all you've got are believers. And it's a believers market. What? That's a free market. You can believe one way or the other. You don't introduce derivatives to destroy the price. That is not a real market. A real market is someone walking in with cash who wants to buy or trade a real crypto for another real crypto, cash for a real crypto, not a derivative manipulation tool. And he's bragging about it. Quote, CFT staff, CFT staff handled it strictly on procedural guidelines. So CSTC, CFTC staff knew about the rig job, told their friends about the rig job so they can short Bitcoin, and then they implemented it on procedural grounds. That's the procedure of the CFTC to rig markets. But at the leadership level, I communicated with Treasury Secretary Mnuchin, NEC Director Cohen, and we believe that should Bitcoin futures go forward, it would allow institutional money to bring discipline to the value of the cash market. <laughs> We're not looking, free markets don't have discipline in them. There should be no discipline. It should be freely traded. If Bitcoin is undervalued, overvalued, or any kind of value, let the market decide. Don't have regulators who know fuck dick all about cryptocurrencies decide what the price is going to be. And that's exactly what happened, Giancarlo. And here's what he said. It's just, it, it's so removed from reality. He just doesn't get it. I used to like the dude. Coming out of 2008 financial crisis, the legit criticism of regulators was along the lines of, where were they during the expansion of the real estate mortgage bubble? And why didn't they take stops to pop that bubble when they could have? 
if you want to live in a nanny state where unelected people who have no fucking clue what these underlying asset market conditions are, if you want them to decide if a market's in a bubble, that is not the kind of world I want to live in. That's not the kind of world anybody should want to live in. How many of them told their friends, hey, we're about to pop the Bitcoin bubble. Better stay away. Christian Carlo's daughters. Daughter was a huge investor in Bitcoin and got him into it. Did he tell her before he pulled the plug? You better get out. I'm about to pop that Bitcoin bubble. Great name for him, Giancarlo. Sounds like the mafia. And here's the final quote, which just shows he's so freaking removed from reality. Quote, I believe it shows the power of markets to bring discipline to prices. The power of markets, what market? The manipulation market with phony short sale derivatives? Shorting should be against the law. And it is against the law unless you have the actual, well, the stock market allows it. The bond market allows it. The crypto people allow it. Silver and gold people allow it. Why do we allow these freaking derivative exchanges to determine price? That is completely against commodity law, according to Ted Butler and lawyers that say the law states, and I wrote it down, that derivative prices should not be making the price. They should be taking the price. They should not be manipulating the price. They should not be have any determination on the price. When a derivative market, which is we have in every market, in cryptos, Bitcoin, look at the volume. These exchanges are derivative exchanges. And I guarantee you, him and his friends were in there shorting it to pop those as well. That's the stuff that's going to go away. All derivatives need to go away. Yes, it will take away hedging. But how much of this shit is really hedging? When you have der derivatives in the quadrillions, is that all hedges? What the hell is it hedging? Where's the underlying assets that are in the quadrillion? Giancarlo doesn't fucking get it. I believe it shows the power of markets to bring discipline to prices. What does the CFTC rigging the price of Bitcoin down have to do with any markets? I hope everybody in the crypto world, it, it, by the way, Bitcoin Ben called me and said, hey, let's go to Washington. I'm so pissed off. I want to go knock on all these bastards' door. I did that from 2000 to 2010 in silver, and it does nothing. It does nothing. You either got to take the entire system down with the derivative thing, which I have been advocating, or you invent a new system, which the crypto people are working on, decentralized exchanges. I am all for inventing the new system. Because I know you walk into Washington, you ain't going to do anything. First of all, 90% of our politicians are fucking idiots on the dole. They're told what to say, what to do, and when to do it. So just to be, get yourself a little more sick, here's Chris Giancarlo. February 2018, just when they started to pop the Bitcoin bubble. CFTC to take quote, do no harm approach on cryptocurrency regulation. What? Chairman of the CFTC has spoken of the need of balance to, quote, do no harm approach when regulating cryptocurrencies. In a written testimony presented to the Senate Banking Committee today, Chris Giancarlo said that in a new digital age for financial markets, cryptocurrencies have brought a paradigm shift in how the world views payments and processing and that ignoring such innovation will not make them go away, nor is it a responsible regulatory response. And he concluded, remember, this is while he's popping the Bitcoin bubble, doing harm to hundreds of thousands of investors around the world. Massive harm. Quote, do no harm was unquestionably the right approach to development of the internet. Similarly, I believe that do no harm is the right overarching approach for distributed ledger technology. With the proper balance of sound policy, regulatory oversight, and private sector innovation, new technologies will allow Americans to evolve with respons in responsible ways and continue to grow our economy and increase prosperity. Fuck you. 
Mr. Do No Harm did nothing but harm to anybody who bought cryptocurrencies in 2017 and the beginning of 2018. Do all harm is what he did, and it's completely illegal what these people did. You should be livid. Don't blame Cliff High. It wasn't Cliff High's fault. It was Chris Giancarlo's fault. It was Gary Cohen's fault. It was Steve Mnuchin's fault. I forgot the head of the SEC, but it was Donald Trump's fault as well. Anybody who says shit about Cliff again, I'm going to... Yeah. Automatic delete from the road to Ruta. Automatic for life. Lifetime delete. Here's Chris Giancarlo saying, CFTC does not regulate retail crypto markets. Then what the fuck were you doing in there? You don't regulate it, you rig it. And then the latest. A couple weeks ago, CFTC chairman, U.S. must create an independent blockchain dollar. Oh, was this all to promote your own idea of, of a blockchain dollar? Kill Bitcoin. Oh, but we have an answer. It's our version of Bitcoin. Oh, my God. Here's something that'll make you sick. Gary Cohen, the other co-conspirator. Gary Cohen, President Trump's top economic advisor, was asked about Bitcoin in an interview on Friday. Now, when, when was Friday? It was December 8, 2007. So he knew what exactly was going on. He knew that Bitcoin was about to be popped by him. And he just shrugged. But look at the tweet that, he, that was put out. Watch Gary Cohen's reaction to the Bitcoin question. Look at him. Smug fucking bastard. <laughs> I'm going to destroy the wealth of hundreds of thousands of people by popping a bubble, what I consider a bubble. I didn't see them buying Bitcoin when Bitcoin was stuck at $200, uh, $200 massively undervalued. So it's only the overvalued situation. They're going to come in and save the day. This is sick and it is wrong. And everybody should be screaming about this one. Give me a like and thumbs up and give this to anybody in cryptos. Everybody need, in cryptos needs to know this shit and call these people out on it. Here's a true story about a man just like you He worked his whole life, he was honest and true Built up a nest egg the way they said to Invest in the market, money works for you and Everything is fine Picking the winners every time Started to believe He can make dollars out of dime Little did he know He's being primed for a fall The riggers let you play Then the riggers steal the ball We want free markets Not a million fan trades Lest everyone's honest We're gonna lose what we made Got to shut down exchanges, trade one for one. We want free markets, well our work's just begun. Free markets are the road to freedom. Capitalism, not as bad as they say The world has never tried it, rigging markets every day Socialists fail every time in every way We need a better system to forge a better day We want free markets, not a million phantom trades Lest everyone's honest, we're gonna lose what we made We gotta shut down exchanges till they trade one for one We want free markets, our work's just begun Free markets
Free markets are the road to freedom. I said free markets are the road to freedom. There's a crypto solution, if only done right. We can take out the liars, bring dark into light And trust in the math, not the people who lie I think we can make it if we give it a try We want free markets, not a million phantom trades Lest everyone's honest, we're gonna lose what we made we gotta shut down exchanges till they trade one for one. We want free markets, our work's just big run. Cause free markets are the road to freedom. I said free markets are the road to freedom. Free markets are the road to freedom. Freedom.